Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. generation, there is one born to carry out messianic work, work of liberating the people from age-long servitude and give the people hope after seeming despair that made them lose interest in whatever life can bring as a result of years of neglect and abandonment. For the good people of Akwaibom State, Governor Pabio is that man God has chosen at this time to liberate them. Thank God, he embraced this task with a sense of purpose and responsibility to his God, his conscience, and his people. The governor who turned 50 on 9th December 2012 kick-started activities marking his golden jubilee at the Government House Chapel with a solemn service also attended by his family and dignitaries from all over the country. I always say uh, I thank you for the sacrifice, for your understanding. But most of all, I thank my dear wife, uh, not just for what she's doing or what she has done today, but for always being a great inspiration to me and for always surprising me in a godly way. I thank you. The wife of the governor, Her Excellency Mrs. Ekaiti Unoma Pabio, who is a strong pillar of support to her husband, reminded her husband that God has always been his helper. Your Excellency, what made you what you are today is nothing but God. And the God gave you the grace to realize that education is very important in someone's life. I know how you value education, that's why by the free and compulsory education for the people of our family, for our children. And I know that we encourage the children to read. You even tell them to read a lot of novels. What made you an orator today is nothing but how well read you are. The children of the garden sang to the glory of God. Sir Goswil Akpabio, C.O.N., Executive Governor of Akwaibom State, who until this period was addressed as chief, has variously been likened to the biblical Nehemiah, credited with rebuilding the ruins of that historical city, Jerusalem. A scorecard of this legal luminary and an accomplished gentleman is there for all to see. This Nehemiah of our time, who turned 50 on 9th December 2012, incidentally shares the same birthday with the 16th century poet John Milton, who lived from 1608 through 1674. A strong advocate of good governance, 
and better condition of living for all people born during his time in Britain. This is an outstanding principle which the progenitor or moving spirit behind the uncommon transformation of Aquaibum State, Sir Gaswil Akpabio, shares in common with this renowned English poet. Akpabio's golden jubilee celebration was indeed a celebration of years of countless pluses and unequalled achievements which over the years have been widely acclaimed by everyone who came in contact with him. This perhaps explains the large convocation of high-profile dignitaries made up of friends and associates in the corporate world as well as in his current calling, the political class. They all gathered in this land of promise to celebrate one who has brought a new dimension to governance and leadership. How else can a man of humble background, raised by a widowed mother, and who experienced all the vagaries of life, celebrate his meteoric rise to fame and stardom, except in thanking God Almighty in the congregation of God's people. He did this in style, and the venue was the prestigious state banquet hall grounds, Government House in Uyo. <laughs> Prelate Emeritus of Methodist Church Nigeria, Dr. Sandimbang, who delivered the sermon, described Governor Gaswila Pabio as a man of destiny, one who the Almighty had predestined to lead a generation of people in times like this. Prelate Mbang, in X-raying the achievements of Governor Pabio these last five years, said his good deeds should serve as motivation not only to other governors, but others in public service to use their positions in the service of God and humanity. If you want to have the benefits of God, God's benefit is eternal. It's for everybody. It's for those who fear Him. If you want, you must have hope. You must trust. You must rely on God alone. On his part, the prelate of Methodist Church Nigeria, Dr. Sande Ola Makinde, congratulated Governor Apabio on his attainment of the Golden Age and elevation to the knighthood of the Church. Makinde was positive that the good foundation he has laid will outlive him and work in his favor long after he has left the stage, particularly his free and compulsory education policy, just like what the sage Obafemi Awolowo did for Western Nigeria in his time. Prior to the Thanksgiving service, another service was held at the Methodist Church Nigeria Itiam Uyo where Apabio was decorated knight of the church. I gave you this weather as a sign that you have been united by the Methodist Church in Nigeria, the first foundation in Nigeria, as the night of your rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You love the Bible. You love Nigeria. And you are worthy of this home because you made life abundant and comfortable for your people. You have introduced people on the entire program of the people of Akwai Book State, including Methodist Church. Your coming into politics is a call to service. Almost everybody has seen you in a mirror on a life of service and sacrifice. So the time is too short for me. I can like you to achieve over the world and see of Africa. Who left us and Ligon and Mr. Ligon that we met it? How can we describe you, Sir Akamu? And how can we describe you?
this kind of free and compulsory education with conducive learning infrastructures. How can we describe an international airport with 3.5 km runway? When I was coming today, yesterday, from the airport to the town, I saw street lights all gone through. This is a mini London. <laughs> what we need to do at Nigerians is to pray that God will should be done in all parts of this country. It's to pray that every governor, every leader should begin to do the will of God. If you love God, if you love your people, then automatically you will love your people. We need to pray for the president of Nigeria, President Good Lord Every administration has challenges, but I think his own case. There are conspirators who do not want him to succeed. And what we must collectively do as Nigeria, both Muslims and Christians, is to say that we voted this president into office, that this president must succeed. Can we say amen? Because the success of Jonathan means the success of my children, the success of my grandchildren. It means the togetherness of Nigeria. It means the politic nature of our policy in Nigeria. If he does not succeed, and then Nigeria is destroyed. It means that the future of my generation is destroyed. The future of my children is destroyed. What will we decree to the next generation? Every challenge we are seeing today will come and go. The celebration continued later in the evening with a state banquet in honor of the celebrant, Sir Gaswil Apabio. The evening featured cultural displays, rip cracking jokes by comedians, among other activities lined up to spite of the event. The celebrant, assisted by his wife, Mrs. Ekaito Norma Pabio, his children, as governors of the state, and his friends, cut the Golden Jubilee birthday cake. The wife of the governor, Mrs. Akpabio, thanked the people for honoring them and asked for their support to make her husband have a peaceful exit. Your Excellency, what God is trying to tell you is that you should use your good office not only in developing a private state, in making sure that this development which is everywhere in Nigeria, what is trying to tell you today is that you should use your office to evangelize and tell people in continuation of the birthday celebration, a Golden Jubilee Lecture was held in his honor. Chairman of the lecture, an eminent jurist, former Chief Justice of the Federation, Honorable Justice Aliu Modibo Alpha Belgore, praised the developmental initiative of Governor Gaswila Pabio, which he affirmed has opened up the state and set its poles apart from its contemporary. I've been coming to you since I was a schoolboy, passing to going to play football in Calabar, Potaco, other places. When I came yesterday, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I couldn't recognize many places. But if this man has 50, has done this, for just a section of the country, We must pray for him to live for a long time. In the service of this country, a person like that is a great asset to this country. Other speakers on the occasion, including Comrade Adams Oshomele of Edo State, Dr. Olushegun Mimiko of Ondo State, Ibrahim Dankwambo of Gombe State were full of praises for Governor Gaswila Pabio, whom they said has demonstrated so much passion towards the development of the state and emancipation of the people. They all were unanimous that the gesture is a clear evidence of judicious application of resources allocated to the state. But just to congratulate you for attaining the golden age of 50 and for what God has done in your life, and for what God has used you to do in the life of other people, particularly the common transformation that God has used you 
to achieve in Aqua Ipom State. I'm sure there will be many who will be 50. And even if they have the resources to invite everybody, not many will want to honor such invitation. But the truth is, you have made the statement that Nigeria is not a hopeless country. We may not have attained the level that we thought we should be at this point in time. And it is true that there is still a huge gap between our potentials and our reality. But I think the good news is that what you are doing in Aqua Ibom State shows that some parts of Nigeria, some parts are working. And if more parts begin to work, in the end, the whole will work. He felt accountable to the people. There is no way, absolutely no way, you can owe your position to the people without showing some level of accountability to them. And this is what it has demonstrated. But in addition to that, it has passion. And I say, I, I, I join you in bearing testimony to the fact that Akabio is a combination of what I call the three P's. For me, it has passion. It has good products. And it takes pride in those products. And since I became them, visited at Bible State about three or four times now. Not only to see my friend, but also to share in the vision, to share in the plan, and to contain not going abroad to see development, but to have come to a Bible State. There were other speakers, including Nigerian Ambassador to Canada, Chief Ojo Madweke, former Senate President Ken Namani, former Minister of Information Professor Dora Akinuli, the Obi of Onicha, Igwe Alfred Achebe, the Oni of Ife, Oba Okunade Sijuade, among others. The continued prosperity of Hawaii State and its status as a modern Nigerian state rests on two major pillars. One is leadership and the other one is governance. I also advise and sustenance from the legendary Hawaii of speed of hospitality to strangers who call it to guarantee investment from outside the state. One is what we come back in, in 20 years' time in Hawaii. We want to see that Hawaii has been moved beyond where it is now. Much of what the Hawaii has achieved can, God forbid, be integrated, be overturned. If the principles that gave rise to these achievements in the first place are not sustained, what are those principles? They include harmony. The peace in our will assemble the law to bring about this day. They also include a stakeholder and equal opportunity society where the people of law prevails. And it is good enough for our people to have that kind of society, it's even more urgent for Nigeria to have that. Akwaibon appeared to be our flagship and uh, we are very proud of the performance of the Akwaibon state government. The voting pattern now in Nigeria is based on performance. It's no longer so much of a party situation. People now vote for performance. Akwaibon being our flagship is, is clearly beyond the reach of any other political party. Governor Pabio has done the impossible. And as he rightly said, by the grace of God, it's like a miracle. And it is rightly called uncommon transformation. And I really wish and pray that most governors will be relating. I've traveled through a back to a country, through a two, through other parts of the state. And the transformation is everywhere in the state. The primary schools you see on the roadside are all neat and painted and well developed. So uh, it's, uh, it's a massive transformation. And I dare say, not only in the physical development, but in the mindset of people. 
for me to come all the way from Ife, for me to come and every one of us, it's because of the greatness of the man we are celebrating. We are not celebrating bad day, we are celebrating success. It is a good example for all other governors to follow in this country. We are saying government is not moving. Akwaibo government is moving. Friends of Akwaibo across the length and breadth of the nation who came to felicitate him bear their minds on the man Akwaibo. Governor Godswill Akwaibo has distinguished himself as a visioner, as an implementer, a great implementer of vision, and a very strong hard worker. He has transformed the place in such a way that I haven't seen this kind of uncommon transformation anywhere in Nigeria. I have been around myself, I've been to other states and other cities, but none is anything to be compared to what you have in a Kwaibom state. From the business standpoint, it has made our lives easy in the banking subsector because security has improved a lot in the state and that is vital for our business. In terms of infrastructure, I mean, it readily meets the eyes that he has done a whole lot. He has been very focused on bridging the infrastructural gap in the state. That is why um, the state has been so opened up, you know, um, across local government areas, across senatorial districts. He had a clear direction. His agenda was simple. He said, I'll turn the state into a destination. And that meant he had to provide quality infrastructure uh, in terms of good roads, in terms of uh, completing the power plants, uh, in terms of the cleanliness of the environment, completing the international uh, airports. Uh, then, of course, other life-touching projects. It's a man that has touched so many lives, which you can even confirm from your own side. So, and it's well loved by his people, so that's why you have so many people in the hall. His friends were not done yet. For Gasui Lapabio, the large number of guests was a demonstration of love for him and his good works, which is said was necessary for the transformation of the Nigerian nation. I want to thank you immensely for coming, all of you, and to say that yes, indeed, we are celebrating love. We are not just celebrating development, we are not celebrating progress. We are celebrating love and democracy. Democracy is the best form of government. It guarantees you the right to speak. It guarantees you the right to choice. What has happened in the last five or six years of Akwaibom is that democracy is working. And as democracy is working, it also shows that the political parties are also making proper and correct selections. And congratulate President Gunnar Bebele Jonathan, the leader of our country, for the fact that he has allowed democracy to thrive. Because it's only through democracy that we can have the area of personalities that we have had here today. The political party is not important. What is important is the character of the individual that you elect to lead you. And every state of this situation 
Every state of this federation must use binoculars to bring out people who can change this nation. We join millions of admirers of the governor in wishing him a happy 50th birthday and many more happy returns. Oh, it's a